Hello Coyotes, this is President Matt Thompson with another update from campus. We're just one week away from our first move-in day when new students join us on campus on August 5th. Under normal circumstances, these days are filled with emotion, nervousness, and excitement. Those feelings are no doubt multiplied right now, so I wanted to share with you briefly what to expect. First, we have a strong screening process in place. All of the individuals who wish to enter the campus buildings on Wednesday and Friday of next week, they will begin by visiting the Student Activity Center to have their temperature taken and ask screening questions. Those who pass will receive a colored armband. If someone tests high for their temperature, that person will enter a waiting area. If the person fails a second test a few minutes later, that person won't be allowed to enter any campus buildings. This includes students, parents, and all of the KW staff who are here to help make this a great experience. Secondly, we'll have tables set up in both Maybe Arena and Mirror Gym for various activities and groups on campus. Mirror Gym will contain parent-focused areas, including the KWU Parent Association, and we encourage all parents to explore those possibilities. Here in Maybe Arena, students will go through the check-in process and complete various forms. Some students may be able to use the Fast Pass, which means they've completed their forms ahead of time to speed up the check-in process. If you have any questions on Fast Pass, please contact the KDUB Hub. We ask that students begin the check-in process on their own due to privacy laws, but we recognize that parents may need to enter at various points to provide needed information. After completing check-in, residential students will receive the residence hall room key. You can then go to the front of your residence hall, where there will be areas marked to allow you to drop off items. Professional movers will be on hand to help you move in items to your room. During the entire move-in process, though, we ask that people observe social distancing and wearing a face covering. Students will receive a KWU face covering during the check-in process along with gloves, a thermometer, and hand sanitizer, but please wear a mask upon arrival as well. Returning students, your check-in process on August 7th will look very similar. Professional movers will be on hand that day as well, and you'll also receive a face covering, gloves, hand sanitizer, and a thermometer to help you check your health every day. Non-residential students will need to sign in for a check-in time to come to campus to be ready for the start of the school year on Monday, August 10th. If you have any questions about the move-in process, please reach out to Student Development at the number on your screen. You can also see the schedule of the move-in day events at kwu.edu slash wow. Be aware that this is subject to change. We're thankful for everything that each of you contributes to our great university and can't wait to see you all very soon. Thank you and go Yotes.